Up next we have our strip till bar. We do quite a bit of acres of strip till. Uh, Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, you know, we're getting close to harvest here. Uh, it's really fast approaching. I just thought I'd take this time to get a quick machinery tour in uh, before harvest here, before we get everything rolling. Uh, the combine, we got it in the shop right now. Uh, we're going through inspection stuff, uh, and just getting it ready for, for harvest. We have bought everything finished with it. We got some brand new lights on it. Um, so, but I'm actually gonna go over to my cousin's place and start off over there with some more smaller stuff and work my way back here because we have all our machinery, our big iron is in the shed uh, beyond the shop here. So hope you enjoy. Uh, so starting out here, uh, we're at my cousin Michael's uh, shed. Uh, we keep some of the harvest stuff in there. We have been at least, uh, and then he keeps uh, some of his equipment in here. Uh, starting off here, this is Bobcat skid loader. And then we got our Draper head, bean head. This is, this is a 635 FD. Draper head. Moving right along here, we got the 4240. This is my cousin Michael's. He uses it for miscellaneous yard stuff and uh, haul liquid manure out of his nurseries. 4240 is about 110 horsepower. Um, like I said, it uses, Michael uses it for miscellaneous stuff around the farm and then sometimes uses it as an auger tractor when we need to. And we got the big dog here. We got our big Brent 1194 grain cart, kind of nestled back in there. An avalanche, it's got two augers in her. It's got 1,100 bushel capacity in her. Would you just look at those tires? We've had this since 2012. We used it for harvest year 2013. It would be its first season, so we've had it for about seven years now. Gonna have some good help this harvest, aren't we kiddos? Yep. Real quick in my side shed here, we got our 24T baler, small square baler. Remember that from a couple videos ago, that video was pretty good. Uh, had that for about close to 50 years or so. We have a little scraper, a little John Deere scraper. Don't use this much, but nice to have around. Here in the actual machine shed on my place, we got our mulch finisher. Uh, we've had this for a couple years now. We used to have a field cultivator and a disc. What makes it a mulch finisher is the discs in the front. Otherwise, yeah, it would just be a, a field cultivator. And we've had to use this with a uh, different tractor, our 4640, which I'll get to over when we get over to our home shop. Um, we've had to borrow our neighbor's uh, case four-wheel drive tractor, so it kind of hurts to put some red paint on it. But uh, no, it, it's a lot cheaper than owning a big four-wheel drive tractor. Up next, we have our strip till bar. It's a Blue Jet uh, Land Runner. Yeah, we got a Brokaw implement. And, Fort Dodge, Iowa. Uh, we've been strip tilling for quite a number of years now. Uh, we like doing this. It's a good uh, soil conservation practice, uh, a good form of reduced tillage. It sees its action in the fall after we're done combining. Uh, we do a lot of our own and then we do some custom work for uh, a couple neighbors and farmers around the area. And now I'm going to head over to our shop and shed over there where the big stuff is. Real quick here before I go over to our shop with the rest of our big equipment, we got our 3020. It's backed into our lean to right now. Uh, it's hooked up to our Whirly Gig mower right here, 709 Whirly Gig. We use this to kind of uh, clean up grass that we can't get with the mower throughout the year and just kind of clean up areas. Uh, sometimes we use it for big weed patches if we really need to, but that's pretty rare. Usually herbicide does a good job with that. Um, on the tractor, we had a hydraulic leak back here. We took care of that. I think we pretty well got it figured out this is a 68 model 3020 this is probably the oldest tractor we have on the farm I believe it has about 75 horsepower uh, like our 4240 and the 4640 they're probably gonna this will be a big auger tractor for us this fall um, along with the 4020 which we'll show later out on this pad, we keep our semis. We got two grain trailers for fall. For fall, We got our International, which is currently hooked up to our spray trailer. We've seen that before. And then our Freightliner, which is hooked up to our newer grain trailer with a roll tarp, automatic roll tarp. The trucks are a huge asset to us in the fall. Uh, we used to have about four uh, wagons. We just actually sold the two last wagons we had. 
here this week, so we have no more wagons. So now out over at our shed that's connected to our shop, we got some of the big iron as you see here. Similar to the 4240, we got our 4640 here. Uh, this was our. This is probably one of our older tractors. It's a 1981 4640. Uh, we haven't used it yet, like I said, in a while, uh, just because our mulch finisher is too heavy for the old girl. Uh, we haven't even put the duels on this year. Real quick here, we got our 608C corn head. It's eight row corn head. Um, really like using that. Uh, compared, we ran six rows up until this corn head, and this is a that's a big improvement. Someday probably upgrade, but right now we're this is a good good size for us. Up next, we got our planter. It's a 1790 Max Emerge 5E planter. Uh, it's a split row planter, which means these row units come down and plant 15 inch beans, otherwise it's a 30 inch uh, planter for corn. Uh, we, it's a, probably our newest piece of machine we have. It's, I think this, this is the second season we used it. it. It plants all of our crops. We only we use it both. Like I said, it's a split row, so it, it's able to plant both. We only have the one planter. And this year total, it probably planted close to 3,000 acres. So I'd say the planter is the most important uh, piece of machinery on a farm. Looking up close here, you can see the individual row units on there. Up next here, we've probably seen this machine the most uh, on the channel here, the Sprayer 4710 Sprayer. Uh, I believe it's a mid-90s, mid-late 90s model. I'm not exactly sure on the exact year of that, but no, it covered all our acres with that. Um, do pre-emerge, post-emerge, uh, some fungicide, insecticide applications with it, as you guys have seen. Walking over here, we have our straight truck. Uh, we're actually looking to sell this. Right next to her is the workhorse tractor. This is our planter tractor. This is our grain tart tractor. This is our strip till tractor. This tractor does the most work on the farm. It's our biggest tractor, highest horsepower tractor we have, a 285 horsepower, 82, John Deere 8285R. This is my favorite tractor. You'll see me the most in this, this fall in the grain cart. That's usually my station. I'm running the grain cart. This tractor is a 2012. It's got 285 horsepower, which like I said, makes it our biggest tractor, highest horsepower tractor. Just a good tractor all around. And last but not least, we got our combine. It's a John Deere 9670 STS. This is a 2011 combine. Just getting some of its final work done. As you can see, we have a shield open right there, working on some stuff. We're about done. But the biggest upgrade to the combine this year will be these new LED lights. Haven't quite hooked up all the wiring to them yet, but uh, once that gets up, I'll probably have a good post about that. And here's the captain's chair. It's a good sneak peek of the lights. We've got basketball hoop in the way a little bit, but you can see got the nice bright LEDs on there. That'll be nice for this fall in the dark. So that finishes out here. Uh, we've got one more thing to show you. We've got our 4020 is getting worked on uh, at my John Deere dealership uh, where I work, and I'll sign off there. Final tractor here in the shop where I work, uh, John Deere. Uh, this is our 4020. It's getting worked on right now. It's about 130 horsepower. It's a 1968 model. Uh, one of our older tractor tractors. My Uncle Jim bought this tractor. Um, we've had probably about three or four 4020s uh, since the farm started uh, between Grandpa, Dad, and Jim. Uh, right now it's getting worked on. Uh, the auto steering was leaking, so we're got that taken apart and getting that fixed and hopefully we'll have that back back this fall a little bit uh, it's a mainly an auger tractor but we use it for other random jobs uh, just other random stuff around the farm mostly so well that's it that concludes the machinery tour so uh, thanks for watching everybody uh, be sure to subscribe and like leave a comment and thanks everybody and have a great week Rolling in the dough.